Howdy all around the wheel here. The Jazz Solo rages on with episode five, the Turtles Strike Back. I'm going like all the way down. I could just push the number. I like how they're wearing leather jackets. They got like cyborg faces. Like there's going to be some big reveal that they're all robots or something like. It's just cool art. It has nothing to do with the story. But we are pulling up on Marbellara today. This is a little bit unusual. There's a secret level here in Marbellara. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. I forgot the the big giant muscle turtles. Well, they're not wearing leather jackets like in the artwork. So that's not as cool as you might expect. No. There's like a one up across the way. I remember this. I remember this pretty well, actually. A lot of the clouds can be stood on. They're not just background. They are strategically placed blocks. A one up to start us off, just in case things go really sour. Just in case I drop in and miss something I can never get again. All right. Yeah, there's a secret level here. I don't know if it's, whoa, animated cloud. You can't step on that one, I know that. I know that for sure. Ah, yes, the little rabbit fountains. Some of them are spitting out water. Some of them are peeing. Ha 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 ha. Peeing rabbit, very funny. I remember the the instruction manual called those uh, Schwartz and Turtles, I do believe. Yeah, I missed a lot right here. I missed some, I missed some, well, maybe I can still get in that part of the maze. At least they fire very slowly. They gotta do a big like bushwhacker walk before they, yeah, Round the Wheel knows some, uh, Roundy knows some wrestling references. It occasionally comes in handy, okay. Yeah, why don't we get rid of you? Start jumping a little higher. There we go. Let's take this higher. Let's take this to some higher ground. Let's do it up. I like the aesthetic going on here. You got the hanging vines here. You got a lot happening. Anything secret that I need to know about? No. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good, some pretty good jump height happening there. There should be a turtle coming across the way, correct? Yep. Let's just jump over him and avoid these guys entirely. It seems like a good idea to stay off the ground. Seems like a good idea to not go anywhere. There we go. The high ground is how we want to do that. Some extra time. We've always got extra time. We've always got time for extra time. Not me, the, the day I'm recording this, I've only got about three days of summer vacation left. So I gotta get on it with the with the finishing up jazz here. Standing on tongue business. Whoa, yeah, oh, I forgot about these. I don't think they appear on easy mode, actually. They're just these big giant Chinese New Year type of dragons. So yeah, I had completely forgotten those. No, are you serious? No, can I get you from here? I sure can. Yeah, I'll take you. I'll take you one out of two missiles works for me. Okay, yeah. Precise jumping, that's... We love to see it. Okay, okay. I had a bit of a white bar there. Um, I feel very scared. Ooh, that is barely missing me. But you know what? Barely counts. Ah, yes. Ah, bird. I will be happy to let you take a hit for me. Now that I've got springy shoes, I can come up here. I always liked how if you shot uh, Venus de Ava here, she would wake up. There's probably an awakening that happened when somebody saw this for sure. No, Robin Hood from the 1970s is the real furry awakening. Maid Marion, the furry that launched a thousand fandoms. Here we go. Nothing there, nothing special, just turn around. Turn around and go home, Jazz. Okay. Are we gonna find a carrot anytime soon? Okay, where is the weak spot? We gotta find the weak spot in each column, and then this building will fall on our faces. Fudge, okay. Oh, well, there's the checkpoint right there. I was about to not make it to the checkpoint. Wow, Marbellara getting serious. I've just been playing on medium by default. Boy, these guys can take some punishment. I'll tell you what. Whoa, hey, hi, how you doing? Well, I've got some, I've got some rapid fire going on here. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose that. I definitely wanna be shooting at all times, I think. Anything secret over there? Anything dangerous down here? Nope, just Nick's signature. Nick put his lovely little signature on one of those bricks. Nick Stadler, the artist for 
Jazz Jackrabbit, who did pretty much every piece of artwork you see in these games. Oh, yes. That will help significantly. Let's get on... I think we're near the end of the level, actually. We might very well be. So, yeah, do a lot of killing. Get rid of things. Get them out of the way. Okay, we are no longer safe at this point. Okay, we are safe at this point once again. Okay, so coming down, there should be a dragon. I think he does go more or less all the way to the edge. So, got to be careful up in this tree. It's a well-known fact that dragons live in trees. So, we want to we wanna clear them out of their natural habitat for sure. Well-known tree-dwelling dragons. Oh, uh, yeah, I do want to get rid of you because I feel like there might be something up here. Or not. It could just be, you know, a big old ruse. The Schwartz and Turtles are going to be at ground level. Yeah, there we go. That's where you really want to start watching it. So is somebody going to come fire my way? There we go. Ah, yes. Absolutely the most delicious thing I've ever seen. Oh, what a balm to the soul. But I think we're right above. Yep, I was going to say, we are right above. What is this way? This is just a one-up. This is not worth it at all. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. No, I think I missed the secret. No, it might be in level two. Yeah, because you got to go like way to the left, past the exit. I think it's past there. Wow, I was really upset about missing that secret level. But you know what? I was right there at the end, and that was a very stressful level anyway, so... Happy to have survived it, whether I made it or not. But if I if I somehow missed the secret level, I don't think it's in level one here. But there we go. That would be a bad place to get stuck. Though I don't think this is the kind of game that really soft locks you ever. Yeah, if we if I end up missing the secret level somehow, we'll go back and we'll we'll do it upright. Of course we will. We won't let that kind of thing go go unplayed. And yeah, there's going to be a secret level here, so no bonus. So if I get a gem, well, too bad, so sad. Okay, a fire shield, though. That's going to be super handy dandy. Okay, rapid fire is very nice here. But a fire shield is going to be even nicer. Okay, where's the, where's the big bads? There they are. Okay. He should be shooting to the left any time now. Okay. Okay, you can just clear the clear the platform. Yeah, sometimes they get very unfair hitboxes, I will say. Oh, and now he's just firing into the platform. Like, very weird. You gotta investigate them all individually. It's like, almost like you have to take the hit. Just to make sure nothing bad is going to happen to you. Okay. Let's just go down. Go down, guns a blazing. Yeah, we had to take one because he was off screen. Oh well. The game do be like that sometimes. Just one carrot, just in case something terrible happens. Yeah, see, like they're tall enough that they can kind of clear the, they they can clear a single block height. Boy, they are very specific with the hitboxes. I think I just blew my entire shield there. Well, that was four hits that I didn't have to, like, actually take. Does that say hi? Up there in blocks. It says something. Uh, maybe it says jazz? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it says jazz in bricks. It's very hard to see. You can't really see the whole thing. Jazz. Uh, I'm concentrating on looking at what the screen says. It's I don't, I don't want to get hit, but I also... Jazz, K-O... KO I okay I lost the thread after jazz I can't really tell what it says there's the oh jazz rocks okay R-O-X because I recognize the exclamation point here at the end that's cute I don't know if I've ever noticed that before has anyone ever noticed that before it's the kind of thing it would be very hard to look at without without like seeing a map of the level cute little easter egg what see even 30 years on you can discover new things about the video games that you love. There we go. Clear out some big space. Big space for big jumping. Big jumping under the lava. Boing. And there we go. That looks... 
That looked actually tagged for a second before I even got to it. This game can be very glitchy with the graphics sometimes. Can I go? There are some of these I think you can go in that are like invisible. Ah, ha, ha, yes. Yes, I know your shot height now. I know, okay. I know your trajectory. I know your flight trajectory. I know your shot paths. You can never touch me again. What do you say to that video game? You're gonna take one more shot and I'm gonna stand like one pixel above it just to taunt you. Yeah, that's about right. That sounds, can I kill the, can I kill the wacky looking Podobo? Maybe. Yes, I can. Wow, very nice. Yeah, let's just jump over that entire lava pool. Lava, don't know if you know this, lava generally a bad thing in video games. Not a good thing to touch all the time. Sometimes lava is okay to touch, but most of the time it's not gonna be. That's a little pro tip uh, from the pros here at GamePro. Okay, all right. Dragon in the tree once again. This is the launcher tree. This is where they grow all the launchers. Some of them grow into big, beautiful orbs. Others, others just stay tiny. Little rapid fire larva. Okay, we're at the top of the tree, looks like. We're not touching the top of that one anytime soon. I don't believe, okay. Can I get on this side of that? Aha, yes. Otherwise, lost forever. Yeah, I don't think any amount of spring boots is gonna help you with that jump. Okay. Actually, that might be nice to have some extra time to complete the level. Is this a jump in type of thing or is this a blow it up kind of thing? Can I jump in at any point? That must have been one of those bits of lava that you could actually go through that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, that, boy, that's a taunt. Yeah, but you don't want to sit around testing that, especially when you only have four hits to your name, to your energy bar. How was I supposed to know? Ah, see, now, now I hit you, now I've taken two hits. See, this is why we save our carrots. This is why a good game would let you stockpile carrots. Not saying jazz is bad, but... I was talking about this in a previous episode, I think, where... It's nice to be able to, it would be nice to like give a remaster let you stockpile your, your carrots so that you could just use them when you wanted instead of having to save like, oh, hey, that's a, okay, momentum is gonna make that hard to jump into, but, and I did it all for just a bunch of floppy disks, because of course I did. Floppy disks are important. How else are you gonna store information in the internet age? They're gonna use floppy disks. Dad, why am I collecting save icons? Oh, yikes, right into the lava. Oh yeah, I forgot that the tree like, I forgot that the tree tries to attack you too. It just plops a little, plops a little thing at you. Okay, let's see, can I stand on this one? I cannot. The ones you can stand on are over here. Uh, yikes. Yeah, after all that, after all that being careful, I'm gonna let the tree take me down. Yeah, I'm a little fidgety, but who would it be when you have to jump from cloud to cloud? Collecting, as the kids no doubt know them, save icons. Okay. Okay, that's, that's pretty safe. We like that, that's good. Any rapid firing gonna do me a dang lick of good. Okay, wow, yeah just about into thank you Woo! i've never been so happy to see a carrot stash in all my days now if i was playing on hard or turbo we'd really be in trouble mm, presenting an actual challenge you say that doesn't sound like jazz jackrabbit's mo but maybe it is i don't know i've never really seriously attempted to play the game on turbo okay i think i did miss the secret level the secret level is definitely in Marbellara, and it could be in level one. And boy, I didn't find the bonus gem either. Boy, I found, I found nothing. The game is being stingy at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through and do, I'm gonna have to go back through and do stage one. Yeah, it must've been at the beginning or the end of stage one. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah, we're gonna go back and we're gonna do that. I cannot believe I missed one on the fly that would be the first time that's happened so 
Wow. Nothing to nothing to tabulate there. Yeah, moving straight to slugging on. Wow. No, no ceremony, no nothing. Okay, I think this is about where I accidentally shot the exit. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So here's the exit. Somebody shot it, whether it was me. Did I have the bird at the time? I don't know. But it's under here. First planet, first level, secret level. So yeah. And we should be able to not get a whole bunch of things because we didn't uh <laughs> i forgot that you have to like veer off the path and stuff holy cow that was a huge miss well as long as there was no like rapid fire or anything like that i'm not terribly upset about it not to be confused with rapid fire missiles those also look like clouds you can walk on up there i think you get some springy shoes in this level too though is this a place that can hurt me i could die in the secret level holy cow that is actually totally possible holy holy cow i think that might be kind of a rarity among secret levels actually ah see i missed a shield i probably missed a fire shield too while we're at it okay i keep shooting like there's gonna be enemies ahead of me that's one of those levels that makes you feel that way but this one is pretty breezy this one is pretty easy breezy beautiful cover girl and i'll try to find the now that i've also missed the bonus gym i have a second chance to go back and get that too i wonder if i can root that out hey more rapid fire that'll be very helpful i ended up doing a lot better last time in the first level so maybe maybe calming down and doing the second level a little slower it is one you have to take slow that's always the point that video games that emphasize speed inevitably get to it's like okay when am i gonna have to slow down take my time it always gets to that point eventually oh hey oh thank you for the spring i thought i was gonna need springy shoes to get that okay there's just springs everywhere hidden springs not the not the refreshing not the re refreshing artesian kind i almost said artisanal i don't think i don't think an artisanal spring i mean there's yeah, it's an artesian spring, I think is the word. I should know this. I'm the English teaching guy, right? Allegedly. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty chill level. Pretty cool, pretty cool design, honestly. Okay, I missed a bunch of stuff at the beginning, but it still says I got 100% of the items, which we all know is a lie. Now let's see if we can find the bonus level at this one. There it is. It was inside a hidden wall. Okay, well, we can, and we've got three fire shield hits. I think we're pretty good to make it on this one, as long as I don't do anything extra stupid, which is never a guarantee. We'll wait for you to turn around and ignore your friend before shooting you in the back. We have no honor. Honor is not part of the Jazz Jackrabbit method. If you got an enemy with its back turned, that's the best time to shoot it. All right, that feels a lot more proper. So let's go ahead and play the bonus stage and then we'll call it a day. There we go. Okay, 30 gems. That's the usual amount. They're kind of off centering. These are the jump pads, right? Yeah, the ones that make you jump really high. They're kind of off centering those now, weirdly. Stop, no, we never listen to the hand. Why would we listen to the hand? The hand is silly. Instead, we end up moving mega fast and I don't know doing what something crashing into this like a big ball okay it's a little harder to find gems in this one boy we are cruising down a long road of nothing here okay let's turn around and go back I think there was another fork to that path okay this one is a little concerning only a minute thir oh, only a minute 30 left there was about to be no minutes no seconds left okay cruise by the exit signs there we go our salvation lies beyond the exit oh no i don't think so hey that's kind of nice considering we're doing pretty terrible on <laughs> considering we're doing pretty terrible on uh time here time to gym ratio okay yeah okay they're getting real they're getting real nasty with it so we got to be extraordinarily careful 
move down the side of the street where possible, I think. Okay, 21 gems. Only nine left to get. One, two, three. Yeah, you can pretty much expect that there's going to be an exit side. Ooh. Big, wide open field of gems. You don't see that too often. Usually they just uh, go pretty straight roads. Pretty straightforward road situation. Anyway, gym number 30. The bonus stage ain't beat us before. It ain't beat us now. See you guys next time.